Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll see a one more concept in operating system that is the techniques used to prevent thrashing. So in our previous session, we have seen what about the thrashing, what is meant by a thrashing. So if the CPU spends more time in servicing to the page faults, so we know that if the CPU required some page to execute, and which is not available in the main memory, then automatically that particular page should be moved from secondary memory to the main memory. So that we are calling it as a swap out, right? And in uh, when the CPU spends more time, okay, on servicing these kind of page faults is called as a thrashing. So obviously, there are two techniques, mainly two techniques to prevent from the thrashing. So, we will see those two techniques in today's session. So, without delay, let us start. So, techniques to prevent thrashing. So, very simple techniques. So, first one is a working set model working set model and another one is a page fault frequency so coming to this working set model the name itself indicates so this mainly works on principle of locality principle of locality or locality model okay we can say it as a locality model now what is this locality so locality means at a certain time, okay, at a certain time period, the number of pages being executed repeatedly. So, if some sort of pages were being executed repeatedly for a certain time period, that we can call it as a locality. And this will be representing with a word called a working set okay working set so working set means it will be having all the active pages that are being executed all the active pages that are being executed so we know that there will be a, a page reference table that we call it as a page table so all the page references that means whatever the page moved from secondary memory to the main memory so the complete information about the pages which are being swapped in and swapped out everything will be available in that page reference table so the cpu will be executing a multiple pages okay multiple pages which are being loaded into the frames in the pri primary memory so sometimes a few pages can be executed a multiple times okay so that we call it as a locality and this working set means it is an active pages and represented as sorry represented as the symbol delta so delta is a working set delta is a working set so this delta can be i mean the delta should not be too small so if the size of working set okay here the delta is a uh, working set so the size of working set should not be too small if the size of working set is too small the number of page faults will be occurred so for example if the working set is only two so that means the two pages we are just considering the two pages okay the last executed two pages so obviously there will be a more page faults so here we'll be having more page faults and similarly the delta should not be too large too large because the number of pages will be loaded into that okay the number of pages will be loaded so we can't able to find this uh, page faults right 
so the delta delta should be a moderate that should not be too large and should not be too small so that we are representing the set how many pages we are considering is called as a this working set okay now for example let us take uh, this, uh, this is a order of executing the pages so 2 3 3 4 4 2 3 4 3 2 2 5 6 7 7 5 5 6 4 3 6 5 see let us take the working set size as a 10 okay some at 10 pages the last 10 pages we are referencing so here let us consider 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so this is a one uh, set with a time period t1 okay and for example uh, last so 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so this is a another time period so this is a one time period and another time period so we are considering two time periods so there are more number of pages that are being executed okay this is the order of executing the pages okay so we are considering the time period uh, up to 10 pages so here the working set will be what we are saying working set means whatever the active pages okay so here what are the pages there are page number 2 3 4 5 6 7 okay there are a lot of page numbers but we are considering the working set as active pages at that particular time period so in this particular time period what are the active pages you can see uh, 2 and 3 and 4 that's it so there are no pages of 5 6 7 in this particular time period so the operating system uh, will be allocating a frames for only these pages that means it will be allocating only three pages okay three pages for this particular time period coming to this line next time period that means the time period means the last here we are considering the last 10 pages okay that are being executed so we can also calculate the working set for this particular time period so you can see yes 5 is there uh, 6 is there yes 4 is there and also 7 so this is a working set here this is a working set okay so here in this case in this time period only four pages will be allocated that is the four frames will be allocated right so in this way we can uh, allocate the frames based upon the active pages which are being in working set if the pages are not active automatically those working the, those pages will be deleted or removed from the working set so this will be keep on updating from time to time okay so this is a one approach this is a one approach so if you consider this uh, d i mean the sum of uh, the sum of working set as d that means a demanded frames okay and m is a frames available in a memory okay frames of uh, main memory frames of main memory so here d means demanded frames so not all the frames will be comes here so the sum of the works uh, working set okay the sum of working set in this case only four okay only four in this case okay sorry in this case only three in this case only four so here uh, once again the two conditions will be taken that is sum of working set si that means uh, it is represented as d which is a demanded frames so that are required okay so because the working set will be having the active pages these are the demanded frames so if demanded frames are less than okay demanded frames are less than m that means allocated frame i mean uh, available frames so that implies that implies what happens demanded frames are less than uh, frames in the main memory okay frames in the main memory so no thrashing occurs no thrashing occurs because all the frames can be allocated to the uh, i mean all the pages will be allocated to the memory so when the problem occurs means when the demanded frames are greater than the frames in the main memory then the thrashing will be occurs 
then the thrashing will be occurs. So always we have to work on this one. So always the demand frames should be less than the frames of a main memory. So this is called as a working set model which will be working with the help of principle of locality. Principle of locality. So this is the first approach how to uh, prevent to prevent the thrashing first approach to prevent the tra thrashing so let us move on with the second approach that is page fault frequency so hope you understood this one and uh, we'll see the second one that is a page fault frequency the second technique to prevent the thrashing okay see this is a very simple approach page fault frequency so coming to this page fault frequency so let us consider a graph let us take some x axis and a y axis so x axis this is a number of frames this is a number of frames and y axis the page fault rate okay the page fault rate so always we know that always the page fault rate should be low so for example if the number of frames are less okay if the number of frames are less the page fault rate will be high okay for example if the number of pages if the number of pages are 4 okay sorry number of yeah number of frames are 4 and pages number of pages are 10 what happens why well, only four pay, only four pages can be loaded into four frames what about the remaining six so there will be a swap in and swap out operation that is called a paging and obviously we'll be having the page fault rate so it, the page fault rate will be very high if there are if there are a very less number of frames so that will be gradually decreasing with the increase of the number of frames okay obviously if if the number of uh, frames are some 20 so automatically there will be no page fault because the 10 pages will be directly loaded into the frames of main memory so there will be no page fault so that's why gradually so with the increase of frames with the increase of number of frames the page fault rate will be decreased so here we will be having a two things one is a upper limit and a lower limit so this is the upper boundary upper limit we will be setting the upper limit as well as the lower limit okay lower limit right so if the page fault okay the page fault page fault is greater than upper limit if the page fault is greater than upper limits what we have to do so then the number of frames should be increased so the number of frames should be allocated should be increased okay so by suspending the uh, other processes uh, frames should be allocated to the current process and reverse the second one if the page fault the page fault rate is less than sorry yes is less than lower limit so here what happens the number of frames can be decreased okay the number of frames can be can be decreased okay how it can be decreased means we can suspend the frames which are not active okay the pages which are not active in that frames so those frames can be allocated to the process which needs a more number of frames so these two things happens in this one so based upon the page fault frequency the number of frames can be either increased or decreased if it comes with the increase so whatever the frames which are inactive so that will be removed and that will be allocated to the process which needs more number of frames so this happens in the page fault frequency based upon the upper limit and the lower limit of the page fault rate so we'll be deciding the number of frames which are going to be increased or decreased right so this is the page fault frequency by using these two techniques working set model and the page fault frequency 
so we can prevent the concept of thrashing okay so hope you understood and if you really enjoyed the session like my session share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much